Hello, hi, good morning everyone. My name is Miss Jenny, in case you did not know, now you know. Uh, for Messy Monday today, we are going to be doing some painting. Now you can also use ink pads for this, um, or markers would also work, but markers are gonna be trickier to get off the hand. And depending on your ink pad, so your ink. Um, so I am just going to be using paint. You're just gonna need your hand. I should probably take off my rings. Um, because although it's washable, we are going to get messy after all. It is Messy Monday. So there are two rings, three, and my bracelets, just in case. All right, so all you're going to need are, depending on how you're doing this, <laughs> are some paint brushes and some different paint and paper. Super quick one. Uh, this is really just in honor of Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's see. I am going to use kind of a different piece of paper as my palette. And I'll like move the camera so you can see. Welcome to our workroom, by the way. <laughs> All right. So this is my like brownish color. Then I have this like nice fluorescent orange. Then I have some pink. Maybe I don't, because that's very watery. <laughs> okay, I do have pink. <laughs> and then just to see, I would love to use this color. There we go. We don't need much. It's just for one finger. Um, I'm also going to be doing kind of like another thing as well. Then I have this yellow, because I thought a nice gold, like yellow, would be a good thing. And then this color purple because purple is one of my favorite colors and it is my birthday this week so I get to use the colors I like. <laughs> um, there we go. Sometimes the containers just don't like to cooperate. So you are going to take your hand, take a paintbrush and just the whole body of the turkey. My turkey is going to be kind of like this color. Um, it's kind of brown. It's a very like red toned brown. And I'm going to go up because turkeys, their bodies are still, you know, their neck is still their body. And you're going to want this a little more wet than you would think, which I know sounds silly, especially parents. I'm sorry. I know it's a messy one. Then, for the sake of time, I have a bunch of different brushes, so I'm going to take a different brush for this feather. But you can always have like some water and just kind of go through that way. Perfect. Oops. See, and I'm already making a great mess, so. It's all in line with what we do here. And then my last color is this purple because like I said, purple is like one of my favorite colors. Excellent. Super wet. And then we're just gonna make sure that each finger completely touches down. Here. Completely touches down. Hopefully it doesn't fall like that for you. Um, and we have a nice little handprint. Now, mine did not connect. So I'm just gonna take my thumb and kind of redo that one spot. Now, if you want, you can do the whole thing or another way to do it is just like that. Do, do, do. So now it's the fun part where like you kind of get to like clean up your mess a little bit in terms of the painting because you want to make sure that your turkey painting is good especially maybe you're going to write down like why you're thankful excellent and then i'm going to do the same with the pink because that one had kind of dried up by the time i went to use it like i said kind of like the more paint you put on the better it's definitely one of those things of like 
you're gonna use more than you think. And you can always fill in the gap, so I'm just gonna fill in the gap over here. So I have a very plump turkey, and I'm just gonna make its head a little bit bigger so it can support. And you do not need to do this, but I'm gonna make sure that all my feathers connect as well. Now I love the idea of leaving this looking like a hand, but for me that was not really <laughs> gonna be too effective. So I'm just connecting all my feathers. But the good thing about that is because my paint is drying so quickly, it means that we're creating a little bit less of a mess. So then you're gonna wanna take a smaller brush and with my orange, I'm just gonna paint a little bit of a beak and for the sake of precision, I am going to use a marker. Maybe, there we go. See, I'm gonna use a marker and look, like my hands are already like pretty dry that like just picking the marker up, I didn't get much on there. I'm just gonna add like the little gobbler part. I forget what this part is actually called. I know it's not a gobbler, but I can't think of what it's actually called. But anywho, <laughs> Um, you can add little legs. If you did yours better spacing, you can add feet. You can add all sorts of things. Maybe, you know, a nice little wing. Something like that. Um, and you can always grab, what color do I want to use? I'm going to use the yellow, I think. And make a little eye and a line in the beak, and there you go. You have a super cute, easy peasy Thanksgiving turkey that the kiddos can do on their own. All right, let's see if I can do this without getting paint all over my phone. All right, so I'm gonna go wash up. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Tell me what you're thankful for um, over on our Instagram because I'm gonna post that part of the picture, just my hand. Um, and I think that's about it. So have a great Thanksgiving. Bye everyone. I love you. I cannot wait to see you again soon. Have a wonderful week. Bye now.